Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Bex here today to film a video that I've been looking forward to filming for a while, and that is my TBR for the Owl's Magical Readathon. This is a Harry Potter themed readathon. The Owls specifically happen every year in April, and then there are Newts in August. I participated last year, and it was a really good time. Some amazing prompts put together by G over at Book Roast. And it's, I think, the only readathon where I've ever actually completed all of the books I needed to read um, because it was sort of one of those things where you needed to read those books to be able to progress and you need to finish your owls to get your newts. So I think that really motivated me. If you are not sure about the details of the readathon, there's a lot of different things going on. Way too much for me to explain here. So I will link G's 2020 announcement video so you can go check that out if you are interested in joining the community on this one. One of the great things about this readathon is the Wizarding Careers Guidebook that you can go through and kind of choose what you want to focus on. You don't have to, but it's kind of really the point. So last year I did a ministry position and this year I've gone for something completely different. I've decided to go for broom maker. Uh, when I choose the, the jobs that I want to focus on for my owls and my newts, I base it off of the prompts and what prompts interest me the most and what books do I have that fit those prompts that I am most interested in reading, that sort of thing. I know some people kind of just choose whatever job they're most interested in and go from there, but I definitely curate it more towards what books am I actually going to be reading. So for Broom Maker, I have four owls that I have to complete, which is Arithmancy, Charms, uh, Herbology, and Muggle Studies. I have also decided, because that's only four books, which is it really that much? I think I read eight for newts, so like I know I can do more. So I've also decided to throw in something new that she has this year, which is the courses, seminars, and training. So there are little extra things that if you want to tack a couple of books on, you can. I've decided to also do the uh, course on learning to operate locomotive trains. I figured that would fit well because if I'm a broom maker, that's a mode of transportation. And a train is also a mode of transportation. So for that one, I need Defense Against the Dark Arts and Muggle Studies for Owls. And you don't have to read extra books if you already have that particular subject for your uh, job. So for Broom Maker, I already have Muggle Studies, so I really just need to read one extra book, which is, as I mentioned, Defense Against the Dark Arts. So I'm going to read five books for Owls this year, and then I'll have a little extra to do for Newts, but we'll get to that eventually. The first subject that I have to do some revision for is arithmancy and the prompt for that is magical qualities of number two balance opposites read something outside your favorite genre for this I have chosen the midnight star by Marie Lu this is book three in the young elites trilogy the final young elites novel I read the first two for this last year and uh, they, it is YA fantasy which is definitely not a genre that I normally go for. I do have YA fantasy books occasionally on my shelves, and I had the first book in the series, The Young Elites, and finally decided to read it, and I actually ended up kind of liking it enough to continue on and buy the other two books. I figured it would be appropriate to finally finish the series with a prompt where you're kind of reading something that you wouldn't normally reach for, because this definitely isn't something I would normally pick. Because this is the third book, I can't give too much information, but the young elites are basically young people with superpowers, magical abilities, and our main character is someone who very late in life figured out that she does have some sort of power, but it's very dark. The books are uh, very morally gray. And I really liked that about it. There's a lot of difficult choices that need to be made, and sometimes things do not work out for the best. So I'll be very curious to see how dark this last book gets. Second revision topic is Charms, which is the spell Lumos Maxima, which is uh, a book with a white cover. Now, I had two books that I was debating between, and I <laughs> decided to not pick Containment, which is a book that I would really like to read this year. It was on my 10 books for 2020, but 
Based on everything that's currently happening in the world right now, I figured this would not ease my own anxiety about all of it. So I should probably just wait and read this hopefully later this year when the coronavirus COVID-19 stuff has hopefully died down. And in the meantime, I will actually read Blood at the Root, A Racial Cleansing in America by Patrick Phillips. I had this book on my nonfiction November TBR and I didn't get to it, uh, but I would kind of consider this a white cover just because it's more, you know, this and then the back, so. This book focuses on a few different instances of racial cleansing in America, but specifically looks at a county in Georgia where a few young black men were accused of raping and murdering a white woman. So this white mob came in and chased all of the black residents out. I feel like I've been talking about this book a lot and not actually reading it, but it's not too long. And because this is Owls, I will, should actually get to it now. The third revision topic for Broommaker is Herbology, and that is Mimbalus Mimbletonia, a title that starts with the letter M. For that, I picked another book which actually would have worked for the other prompt, and that is Men We Reaped by Jesmyn Ward. This is a memoir. This is another serious book where Jesmyn Ward reflects on the loss of five men in her life, whether by accident, suicide, or murder in a very short amount of time, four years and how America and the system uh, works against black men. So these two are actually gonna be kind of similar vibes, but that's what I like about nonfiction. So it gets into some serious topics, but you'll learn a lot of stuff at the same time too. This will be another uh, very serious, probably very hard read. The final main revision topic is Muggle Studies, and that is book from a perspective of a muggle, which basically means read a contemporary book. So we're just gonna get a little, a little bit of whiplash here going from some very serious topics to a contemporary book. Uh, this is The Boy Most Likely To by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Uh, to be fair, Huntley Fitzpatrick uh, wrote My Life Next Door. This is the companion book to that, and I did read that last year, and it actually talked about some very serious stuff. I, I liked it, it was an enjoyable read, it definitely had that contemporary feeling to it, but there was a seriousness to it and it was very well written. So although this is YA contemporary and feels like it would be a completely different vibe from those other two books, I'm sure it will delve into some serious stuff. This is another book that I really wanted to read this year, so I'm glad that I was able to find a prompt to fit this. I was actually planning on reading this book in the summertime, but I don't have a ton of contemporary books on my shelves, so here we are. This one is about two characters who are in my life next door and how they end up falling for each other, but they're definitely two people that you wouldn't expect to be together. But I did like both of the characters a lot in the first book, so I'm happy to read their story and see what happens with them. Lastly, we have my final book for my course on learning how to be a train conductor, and that is Defense Against the Dark Arts. That is specifically about Grindylows, which is a book set on the sea or coast. <laughs> and I had a very obvious choice for this one, and that is Atlantic by Simon Winchester. Great sea battles, heroic discoveries, titanic storms, and a vast ocean of a million stories. But this book is set on the sea and coast because it is about the sea, specifically the Atlantic Ocean and all of the history and stories that uh, surround it. Simon Winchester is a pretty famous nonfiction writer, but I've never read anything by him and I found this at a book sale, library book sale, and so I figured I'd pick it up and see if I really like his writing. This one feels the den like the densest of all of them. It doesn't look particularly large, but the pages are quite thin, so I think this one will probably be the biggest push for me because it isn't a YA book, <laughs> so it'll, it'll be a bit more in-depth, and both of the other ones that I have, Men We Reaped and Blood at the Root, are both on the smaller side. So I think this will be my challenge. This is my little bit extra but I'll, I'll save this for last, so if I don't get to it, I've at least completed what I need to complete for being a broom maker. We've got a little bit of an interesting selection here. I've got three nonfiction books, two which I would consider to be pretty dang serious in terms of their topics, and then I've got 
to YA books, which I'll presumably fly through, which is good because you need that with readathons like this. But overall, I'm very pumped to start this. I do have to wrap up some reading beforehand for the booktube prize, but since this starts April 1st and I have to have wrapped up my booktube prize stuff by March 30th, actually, in time for submission, um, I'm glad I picked something that's only four possibly five books i was debating being a hogwarts professor and that was seven books minimum and after having to read a lot of extra stuff for the book two prize i just decided that let's play it a little bit safer and stick with brew maker if you are joining in for the Owl's Magical Readathon, let me know what career you're focusing on down below or if you're doing some of the courses, training, seminars as well. I love hearing what people are going to be focusing on. If you have any questions or comments about the books that I mentioned, I will be reading. You can also uh, mention that down below. As always, all of our links are in the down bar, so you can go check those out if you feel so inclined. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you later.